Are you looking to keep the kids busy while learning this summer? Well, we have a treat for you. Chris Bovin is the assistant director for marketing with the Jacksonville Public Library, and Andrew Jacobs is the outreach coordinator at Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. Welcome back to First Coast Living, and welcome to you. Thank you so oh much. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you. So we got to talk about summer at your library because yeah. you're, it's kind of working with the zoo, right? Tell yes, us about it. Yes, the zoo is a huge part of summer at the library, and it's awesome. So yeah, in the in the summertime, you know, kids they need some educational. Um, they need some educational attention. They need some things to do. They need some things so that that can carry them from the past school year to the next school year. So they're not losing any of that education that they got in the mm -hmm. last year and catching up. So at the library, we love to do this. We love to find all kinds of different great programs and services. And um, we have free books for kids and we have all kinds of things that kids can do. They can come, they can read, but the really, really fun things, the things that they absolutely love to do, they can see wonderful shows. So we have have so many great shows from the zoo. The zoo is going to be at so many libraries and okay. we are so excited and Andrew is one of our uh, one of the outreach coordinators that's going to do a lot of these programs. Oh my gosh, Andrew, I'm so excited. What do you have with you today? So today I have Maui. Maui is our prehensile tailed skink who travels with me for some of our programs. How cool. She was actually born at the Jacksonville Zoo and really? Garden. Wow. So a cool thing about these lizards is the mothers keep the eggs inside them and give a sort of live birth. So oh, wow. they almost go through a pregnancy. It's kind of a weird thing <laughs> that these is lizards do. So you may have seen a lot of skinks in your backyard. These are some of their cousins and they're the largest okay, skinks Okay, I was world. about to say, there's no way something that big is in my backyard. And if it is, I'm a little scared. Although you said I could pet her. You can. Yeah. Oh, she's looking at me. Oh, I don't want to disturb. So do you have different animals that you bring so they can kind of learn, if they go to all the different uh, programs, they can learn different things? Of course, so yeah, we do have a rotating uh, crew of animal ambassadors. Maui's just one of our many animals who help us out at the zoo and going to libraries. So you might see different animals each time you go. We are doing a Florida themed program for the libraries this summer because our theme is all together now. So we're gonna learn about how we can take good care of our animal friends here in Florida and around the world. I love that. And we did have a box turtle out here as well, but she was a little too <laughs> active. We didn't want her to fall, um, but love that you brought the animals. And Chris, yeah. I mean, I know we talked about icy science yes, before. Right. So lots of different programs. How long does this program or this uh, series last, the yeah. summer at your library? So, so summer's gonna go, I mean, it's always June and July, and we're actually extending it all the way through August 12th. So okay. you got about two, two and a half months. And again, during that whole time, there's gonna be books there's going to be story times there's going to be programs like the zoo and like the science show um, we have musicians we have magicians oh. we have so many great performers we have so many great things and there's even things if you just drop into a library like without any planning we have things all ready for you to do scavenger hunts and and there's just so much to do we want to make this a really fun summer for uh, you know for kids that need this kind of thing so yeah you guys great. always do a great job yeah. and the zoo of course too yeah. so what other animals though I know you said Florida animals Animals, but can you give us a little preview of some of them? Oh, sure. So we have things like corn snakes, indigo snakes, uh, several types of turtles and tortoises. One that people don't always want to see until they see it is our ivory millipedes. They're Ooh. really cool little creepy crawlies. Oh. Once you see those legs I'm wiggle sure the and kids move, love that, though. Oh, it's like, so oh. much fun. <laughs> okay, cool. And then, um, how old do you think uh, Maui is? So yeah. because she was born with us, we know she just passed her fourth birthday last month. So she's a May Aww. baby. Happy birthday. Yeah. And then um, how long do they typically live? Because we're going to be like learning, like learning facts. Yeah. Too oh, about yeah, the animals, we'll learn a right? lot of fun stuff. So in the wild, these animals live around 15 years. Really? But her dad is 30 years old. So no in way. Captivity, and he's still can. around? Oh, yeah, he's still <laughs> doing very well. Now, do they get along if they're together? You know how betta fish will fight? Yeah, yeah. I know that right. you said this is a female, <laughs> but do they get along when they're together? Or is it like a... So a cool thing with these lizards is they actually have very strong family bonds. Oh, wonderful. So mom and dad will both help raise the babies. Oh my gosh. Sometimes aunts and uncles or older siblings will get involved <laughs> aunts and too. Uncles, I love that. <laughs> How cool is that? Well, tell us that little yeah, tail. the tail. Oh yeah, yeah, tell us about the tail because this was a really cool fact too, real quick before we go. So these are called prehensile tail skinks or monkey tailed skinks because this tail can actually grab onto branches and help them with their climbing. That is cool, and I didn't know that it was actually called monkey tail as well, because I even said, oh, like a monkey hangs? And he was like, yeah, how cool is that? And they eat their carnivorous, Mostly right? fruit, actually. So really? fruits and leaves. Uh, one of their favorite 
plants is the pathos plant. And I, or pathos, I mix that one up. But uh, <laughs> it's actually Tomato, poisonous tomato. to most other animals, but they can eat it. Interesting. So we grow some of that at the zoo so we can give them one of their favorite natural <laughs> treats. Oh, you guys are so great. Okay, Chris, where can everyone go for more information on how they can find out when the zoo is going to be around? Yep, so go to jackspubliclibrary.org slash summer. We even have jackspubliclibrary.org slash zoo. It'll okay. take you to all the information for all the programs this Wonderful. summer. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And just so you know, I had a corn snake growing up, and that was actually <laughs> a very, very nice cute. snake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you both again. Thank Thanks. you, Maui. And if you'd like to see this interview again, you know, you can head to our website as well.